here for two reasons. It's easy for me to get to. And the Dave other here, how are you? Today I'm going to talk about how I have grounded my PVC dust line. Now I use a four inch PVC pipe down the center of the building here for one of the machines. Now I was getting a lot of static. Anytime I walked past the dust line back here, all the hairs on my arm would stand up. And I thought, hmm, this could be a little bit of a danger. This is a warning signal to me. So what I've done is I purchased a grounding kit. Now this, I'll throw it in front of the other camera there. This is bare copper wire. I went up to my electrical wholesaler and I said, have you got any bare copper wire? And he said, you know what, they don't do it anymore, Dave. It's all insulated. So then I found this purpose-made one, which is bare wire straight away. So there was a few things I was looking at. Either I wrapped this around the outside of the pipe or I put it down the inside of the pipe. And neither of those were going to do much for me because wrapping around the outside of the pipe, the pipe is insulated. PVC is an insulator. So that's not going to stop any static on the inside of the pipe. I didn't want the wire down the inside of the pipe because I didn't want it blocking anything or catching on anything. And blast gates are a tricky area. You've got to come back out of the pipe and back in again. I've created a series of lightning rods down through my pipe and earthed it directly to the impeller's shroud, the encasing that's around the impeller, which in turn is earthed directly through my house into an earth rod buried into the ground. And to do that, I've drilled a series of five millimeter holes. Now it's a matter of a five millimeter drill, so I'll show you here. That's a five millimeter hole. I did this just to check before I started drilling holes in the side of my pipe, and it's a nice tight fit. The Euro screws will go through the thickness of the PVC wall, and I, as I say, I'm using four inch sewer pipe. That's in Australia, we just call it four inch sewer pipe, PVC. And I've put it in so that I have enough of the screws tip, not that it's a tip, I have enough of the tip sticking in and it is flush with the wall of the pipe. It won't catch anything. And then on the outside, I have enough sitting proud, you can see it there on that piece of wood, for me to wrap the copper wire around this wire here. So let's go through the demonstration. I've got a couple to do up the back here behind me. So I'll climb up the ladder, put the headset on, and we'll put a couple in. And you'll be surprised how easy it is. I've decided to put the lightning rods in the side of the pipe, not in the underneath or not on the top, for two reasons. It's easy for me to get to, and the other reason is it's not going to be a point at the bottom of the pipe that may end up catching for whatever reason. So up here is where I'm going to put it. One there, pretty easy, isn't it? And another one here. And the Euro screws. And the wire. And the connector. That's got him fair and square, making sure that we're not going around other electrical cables that are already up here. And a lap around. Can you see that? And then down and around again until it gets down to here. Like so. All right, not too hard. This is not a guarantee that it's gonna stop static at your place. I'm merely telling you what I've done here and the results are that I'm not getting, the hairs of my arm don't lift anymore when I walk past any of these pipes. The results for me are fantastic. If you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click that bell down there, there's a little bell, that lets you know when I've done a new video. That's why people subscribe. You get informed when I've done a new video and you'll be able to say, I didn't mind the last one he did, I might come back and watch the next one. So thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye.